Hello everyone, this is Maxwell, Maxwell Kale here today, and we're reading some more odes I wrote, and I hope you enjoy them. Um, I was thinking about maybe making a book called Ode, with all these in them when I write enough of them. So here we go. An Ode to Feeling Comfortable. Hey, I know I'm not supposed to say it, but will you be insecure with me? I know there's this front we're supposed to have if we want to get naked together and have sex, and we're supposed to grunt and have fun. Yeah, I'm not sure about you, but I know myself well. And I know I'm not supposed to say it, but will you be insecure with me? And in this insecurity, find fun together. Next one, an ode to shelves. I can't tell you there's a happy life out there. At least one so full of happiness, one would call it a happy life. But I can tell you there's a life out there with moments of happiness thrown in somewhere. Did you check behind the bed? Sometimes it sits amongst the dust on a shelf. An ode to just being a thing. If only life had no purpose thrust upon us by a purposeful world trying to mock us. Imagine a life where the luck of existence was simply all the essence such a thing as living will proclaim. Can you just see us as naked creatures crawling listlessly unmeasured against the tall desire of man? When we walk, wherever we go, we go aimlessly. And when the mood strikes, we grab each other as men without a thought. Would death just be a thing and not a thing worth mentioning? For we would have no such word for such things. An ode to a body. Oh, body, how you bring me from here to there and how illness strikes you even in the mind and how you tell me what kind of body you are from the words made by other bodies as I try to sell you for touch and kindness. To think of all the bodies that came together in lust from Hungary, Quebec, Czechoslovakia, and the colonies to make this body. The men who came together to feed this body and name it. To think of all the importance attached to my body. Or to a community. If you're a boy that loves other boys, and you stay kind, please still love, I implore you. For most boys have not stayed kind, and they love just the same. And love is a word that shouldn't be cruel, and they've made it, oh, so cruel. So if you stay kind, I implore you to still love. An ode to meaning. To tell you the truth, I've written the same poem so many times. I feel I simply trace the lines of all the words without finding a new meaning. Ode to hookups. Nobody ever tells you there's more to hooking up than just hooking up. As if we were meant to be for five minutes in a sigh. And how that look in your closed eyes was just as close as I've ever felt to being seen. An ode to one's upbringing. There's a land where the stubble on our cheeks remain moist in the sun. A place where we as men bear it all without judgment. I saw you and you saw me by that river. Where in the splash of water you showed your vulnerable side with a sigh. I could tell you stayed bitter in such a land for you grew up in another. An ode to the poor. If we, the undeserving poor, deserve not a place to belong, and if our moral failure to help ourselves has left us helpless, then let us freeze out in the cold here and now, for a life where some are deemed less than due to a lack of capital is simply unlivable. Let us no longer pay tribute to that which sees us less than, and let this cold manifest our positions in life as forever stagnant. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy my, my collection of odes. And um, maybe if I like enough of them, I'll, I'll write a book or something one day. So have a good day. Bye.